A man on a Hawaii-bound flight described as unruly and disheveled was subdued by passengers and a flight attendant who used an airplane drink cart to block him from getting to the front of the jet. He was then immobilized with duct tape in a seat until the plane landed in Honolulu Friday, escorted on the last leg of its journey by two fighter jets. The man on the plane that left from Los Angeles was identified by law enforcement officials as Annelius Canil. 25, of Turkey. He was taken into custody after the plane landed. Yuskanil was also arrested before boarding the flight at Los Angeles International Airport for opening a door that led onto an airfield ramp, according to Los Angeles Airport Police, who identified Yuskanil. He had been drinking, but police said he did not meet the criteria for being drunk in public was given a date to appear in court on suspicion of misdemeanor trespassing and allowed to board. Passengers among the 181 flying on American Airlines Flight 31 staffed with six crew members took notice of use canal before the jet took off. Among the first to board were first-class passengers Mark and Donna Busden, who found a laptop computer in a seat pocket in front of them. The couple from Albuquerque, New Mexico, assumed someone on a previous flight left it the but a flight attendant said it probably belonged to a man who was in the bathroom. A man Donna Barsden described as a disheveled looking fellow emerged and Mark Barsden gave him the laptop. The man scowled, took the laptop and opened it and closed it and then tried to sit in another first class seat, Mark Barsden said. The man clearly looked out of place and was sent to the economy section of the plane after a flight attendant asked to see his boarding pass and told him he would have to go to row 35 at the back of the plane, Donna Barsden said. Halfway through the six-hour flight, the couple saw the same man again holding his laptop with something over his head that they thought was a towel or a blanket. He was very quiet, moving very sluggish. He was trying to approach the cabin. Like where the captain is, said another passenger, Grant Araclean. At that point, a flight attendant ran down the aisle with her serving cart and blocked the entrance to first class, said passenger Lee Lonson, of Orange County, California. She jammed the cart in that the doorway and she just said, you're not coming in here, Lonson said. The man pushed the cart, trying to get through but passengers came up behind him and grabbed him. He spent the rest of the flight restrained in a seat with duct tape. U.S. Department of Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly was briefed on the mid-air disturbance, according to a statement from the department. There were no other reports of disruptions, but the department said it monitored all flights Friday as a precautionary measure. As Yuskanil was subdued, the cockpit called for help. Federal agents were sent to wait for the plane and two F-22 Raptors from the Hawaii Air National Guard scrambled to meet the plane. We got that military escort coming into Honolulu, Donna Barsden said with a laugh, so welcome to Hawaii. Balsamo reported from Los Angeles. Associated Press writers Andrew Dalton in Los Angeles and Audrey McAvoy in Honolulu contributed to the story and AP Airlines writer David Koenig contributed from Dallas. Two U.S. fighter jets were summoned on Friday to escort an American Airlines flight from Los Angeles to Hawaii after an unruly man was subdued by passengers and flight attendants, who used a drink cart to block him from the front of the plane. The man, identified by law enforcement officials as Annelius Canil, 25, of Turkey was duct taped to his seat until the plane landed in Honolulu and federal agents boarded the plane and arrested him, passenger Lee Lonson said. The flight attendants just were really heroic, Mr. Lonson said. By the time we landed and the FBI took him into custody, he was very mellow. American Airlines Flight 31 had 181 passengers and six crew members aboard, said airline spokeswoman Katie Cody who did not provide details on the incident. The trouble with Mr. Use Canel actually began about eight hours before the flight departed. He was arrested before dawn at Los Angeles International Airport for opening a door that led onto an airfield ramp, according to Los Angeles Airport Police, who provided Mr. Use Canel's identity to the Associated Press. 
Police say Mr. Yuskanil had been drinking but didn't meet the criteria for public drunkenness. He was arrested on suspicion of misdemeanor trespassing, given a date to appear in court and allowed to take the flight to Honolulu. Passengers noticed him before the plane even took off. Mark and Donna Barsden were among the first to board the plane and found a laptop in the seat pocket of Mark Barsden. The Albuquerque, New Mexico, couple assumed it was from the previous flight. A flight attendant said it must belong to a man in the bathroom. Then a disheveled looking fellow walked out, Donna Barsden said. Mark Barsden handed the man the laptop, telling him it had been in his seat. He said the man scowled at him, took the laptop, opened it and closed it and then tried to sit in another seat in first class. Donna Barsden said the man clearly looked out of place, but he didn't say anything. The flight attendant went up to him and asked to see his boarding pass, then when she looked at it she told him he was in row 35 and sent him to the back of the plane. About halfway through the six-hour flight, the Barsden saw the same man, holding his laptop, with something over his head, which they thought was a towel or a blanket. Passenger Grant Araclean said, he was very quiet, moving very sluggish. He was trying to approach the cabin, like where the captain is. Lonson and his wife Penny Lonson, of Orange County, California, were sitting in first class and saw a really serious look on the flight attendant's face. The flight attendant ran down the aisle with her serving cart and blocked the doorway separating first class from the rest of the plane. She jammed the cart in the doorway and she just said, you're not coming in here, Lee Lonson said. He said the man was pushing against the cart, trying to get through. At that point, passengers came up from behind and grabbed him. He was restrained with duct tape for the rest of the flight. Mr. Yuskanil having a laptop with him may have caused more concern than usual, with US and European officials in recent weeks exchanging threats about aviation believed to include bombs hidden in laptop computers. Laptops have been banned on a handful of international flights, and could soon be outlawed on far more. U.S. Department of Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly was briefed on the mid-air disturbance, according to a statement from the department. There are no other reports of disruptions, but the department said it is monitoring all flights on Friday out of caution. As Mr. Yuskanil was subdued, the cockpit called for help. Federal agents were sent to wait for the plane and two F-22 Raptors from the Hawaii Air National Guard scrambled to meet the plane. We got that military escort coming into Honolulu, Donna Barsden said with a laugh, so welcome to Hawaii.